Hi, backers. Uh, it's Aaron here from Pi Supply and uh, Pi Juice. Um, just wanted to do a quick update video because, as promised, we've got the uh, first Pi Juice samples from MBES um, just come in, as you can see. We're all stacking them here. Um, we've actually got a few more, but they already been they're already been deployed and are being tested and sent out to various people for testing and reviewing, um, as we said in our last update. So um, there you can see the box. Um, and that's what your um, Pi just will look like when it gets to you. So nice, nice little shiny box, much better than the kind of demo ones we've done. Um, so yeah, um, looking really good. Um, so as I said, we got these in this morning. Um, we've left it till now to do the update video because we've just been um, unboxing them and thoroughly testing them before before we do this, just to make sure everything's okay. Because just wanted that to be the priority, but. Um, the good news is that they are looking and working fantastically. So first we'll take a look at what, what kind of comes in the box. So you've got your Pi Juice module, it's protective packaging there. Um, also inside the box, you've got, oh, drop that there. Um, you've got the rest of the mounting harbor. So on the, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you've got three stickers and you've got the Pi Juice user guide. Um, which we've sent the PDFs of, so you've, you've probably all seen this before um, online um, and you can download it, but this is just the printed version, as we said, so um, so that's that's kind of the stuff you get with it. Now this mounting hardware, you're probably thinking there's only four screws in there, it's because the actual rest of it um, is already on the Pige, so that's, in, that's just an antiseptic bag. It probably won't come with that in the final ones because we're just going to make the um, this cardboard bit a bit bigger um, and kind of like anti-static it says and um, it will fit directly inside the main box so as you can see some of the mounting hardware is already in place um, because it's holding on the battery surround um, so effectively the four screws you've got in there is just for putting in to the bottom when you've already connected to the Raspberry Pi so um, that's why there's only four screws um, that there is the spring pin um, that's what allows you to um, added some additional functionality as, as you know from the Kickstarter campaign. Um, you've got the locations for the Pi 3, uh, sorry, Pi 2 and uh, B plus um, and A plus, and then you've got the Pi 3 and Pi 0 locations there. So that spring pin can just be soldered in if you want to enable some of that functionality. Um, so yeah, as you can see, uh, this is the new board color. Um, it's kind of like, it, it's kind of a pink to go with the um, to go with the Pi Juice logo, so it, it's kind of designed to be a similar colour to that. Um, thought that was just a nice little fun touch, um, little surprise for you guys. Um, so, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, got a bit of a cough. Um, yeah, so that's the board, um, and that's how it will come to you with the battery on, the battery surround, um, which is the injection mold battery surround. It will come like that, all ready to go. Um, so yeah, I mean. Basically, the only thing left is to fire it up. So, um, got a pie here, um, just with the just noobs on there, really, um, and the wireless mouse. So I get that plugged into um, the HDMI first. Um, just make sure the screen's actually on. HDMI, okay. We got the pie juice. I did charge this one up earlier. Yours might need charging when you get it, but um, I did charge this one up earlier for the video, so uh, it has got charged. So as I put it on, you'll see it will boot up. And there you go, you can see it booting up, not connected to any power cables or anything, it's just the HDMI on there. Um, and you've got the um, USB wireless keyboard and mouse as well. Um, yeah, this, this software image on the SD card, I've already installed the PyJuice software on there. Um, so that's all ready to go with the battery monitoring software um, already on there before I started. Um, but that's really simple. Now we've got it as the, Debi as the Debian package. You can just do a sudo uh, at get install um, PyJuice and, and that'll be on there. So, um, so there you go. Look, I mean, it's just running off the, just plug into the HDMI and, and that's it. Simple as that. Um, you know, you, you've we've done it in a previous update, but you've got the um, you can see the battery icon up there, charged to eighty four percent, and obviously you can load that up, and you've got the full um, 
data of the voltages, um, if there's any power um, present, which obviously at the moment there isn't, so we've simply not got it plugged in. Um, and then you've got all the configuration that we showed you before. So um, yeah, you know, we haven't changed much on the software um, at this point, but um, you know, that will be evolving. And I'm sure with some of the reviewers and stuff, we'll probably find some bugs in that, which will hopefully squash before um, we ship out the full batches. But yeah, as you can see, that, that's the main thing. Um, you'll be able to see, if, if you bring the camera in a little bit, you'll be able to see that when I plug it in, this LED will start to flash between um, green and blue, just to indicate that it's charging. So I'll just plug that in here. So there you go, you can see it's um, charging now. Um, the, the way that that LED works is it's got three states, well, four states, basically. Um, you've got, well, actually, I'm wrong, it's five. <laughs> um, there's there's um, basically uh, red, yellow, and green. So if it's just on battery, it will either show red, yellow, or green. If it's red, obviously that's, I think, uh, the lowest battery state. Yellow is like middling, and then green is the highest. So I think the uh, boundaries are 80% and above is green. Um, and 15%, I think, and above is yellow, and anything under that is red. So it's pretty simple. However, if you plug it in, it will flash between whatever the battery charge level is and blue. So if it's on 10%, it will flash between red and blue. If it's on 85%, it will flash between green and blue. Um, and then once it's fully charged, um, if it's still plugged in, it will go to a solid blue um, light eventually. So that's kind of how that LED works. You can obviously change that and it's all programmable through the software, but that's how that, that's how that software works basically um, on, on the LED. Um, and obviously you can, you can plug that you can also plug that in um, to the uh, Pi's. Let me just flip that over. You can plug that into the Raspberry Pi's micro USB. Um, have I done it? Yeah, there you go. And as you can see, that still charges there as well. Um, and this whole time, you know, it's still booted up and, um, you know, you can just plug and play like that. It's, just, it's as simple as that, really. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, for this update but we just wanted to show you um the final boards and uh you know just say that we're you know it's been it's been a long journey but we're we're getting closer and closer every day so thanks for your patience and um there'll be many more updates to come in the coming weeks and we'll hopefully be shipping them out um in the not too distant future so thanks for watching